lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another spell as well as an another Witchcraft 101, which it's been a while since I've actually put that in the title, but for the most part, <clears throat> most of the videos are. Anyways, there should be some warnings about doing this type of spell work. So I don't have a problem with doing binding spells, love spells, money spells, things like that, okay? But there is still the whole threefold rule and sometimes things end up coming back to you negatively or they don't happen as fast as you want and then they end up not happening but you still will get the threefold energy back that you put out even though you don't get your results because you're still so focused on it or so waiting and waiting, waiting for it to happen instead of being patient. Either way, at the end of the day, this spell should be a last resort. And I'm only saying that because even though I'm not somebody that is concerned with doing that with these type of spells, there are a lot of witches and Wiccans, etc., that do see problem with it and I just don't want any controversy or anything about it so anyways if you want to do a binding spell what is a, this particular binding spell that I'm going to be teaching for so if there are people in your life that you have tried putting boundaries on or just trying to get away from toxic situations or you might be having court and there's lies being said about you and it won't stop. Um, it could be really anything where you are being harmed by somebody else's actions and you've tried to get either the truth out there or put some very intense, strong boundaries, personal boundaries with these people and it hasn't worked. So this will bind them from doing any real harm. Again, as with any spell, even if people say, oh, it's a 24 hour spell, oh, it's will happen right away. It really does depend on you. Um, you have to, I've done my, all these types of spells that I'm teaching, because to me, they're kind of the beginner ones. I've done numerous times. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And the one common factor for when they don't work is that I don't stop thinking about it or I'll start having doubts about it working. So I haven't fully let it go after putting the spell out there, which is fine if it's like a seven day spell or something, but otherwise, once the spell is done, the spell is done, don't start thinking about whatever it is that you're desiring. So what you're gonna need for the freezing binding spell. So this is one that most people know about or have heard about but they don't may not know how to do it and there's different ways that people do it so maybe you want to know another way to do it so you're going to need a ziploc bag water a pen or a pencil some type of writing utensil essentially a piece of paper and of course obviously a freezer um you can add drops of essential oils that also have um, either protection or binding properties. The reason I say protection, so that is to ensure that some of this doesn't get back to you and that it's this spell is to protect you and the better good of you. So, anyways, you don't need that, but you can always have it or a magic boosting oil, whatever it might be that you used. Um, so, when you come up, with your statement, your, whether you call it an affirmation, whatever it may be, it should be one sentence or at most two. Like if you really wanna explain the situation and why this person needs to be bound from you in your spell. Um, an example of how you could be doing this is saying, I hereby bind so-and-so from s stating b negative toxic things about me that aren't true. I hereby freeze so-and-so's whoever and bind them 
from causing me harm. As my will, so would it be. So that's if you know the person. Of course, that's just kind of a small little situation, but of course this can be used in much more intense situations. If you don't know the person's name and it's somebody that's just there and you haven't officially met but they have been doing something, um, there's a different way to do it, of course, as well. You can just say, I hereby freeze so-and-so and be visualizing them. Um, you could describe them in your statement, etc. Um, so then after you have whatever your statement is, so you need the person's name in there. And sometimes it's good just like on the piece of paper that you're writing, maybe not in your actual statement, your chant, um, but you can write de as much details you know about the person, like important details, like their birthday, um, you know, things like that, if you know that, just so that there's more of a chance of it getting to the right person. Okay. So then you're gonna fold up the piece of paper. If you have oil, you can drop it on there and visualize what you want, okay? Then once it's folded, make sure that it's small, fits in the Ziploc bag, but there's still gonna be a lot of room for water. So you're gonna fill the bag with water until the paper is fully covered. That's why it needs to be folded very small, so it's like halfway at least, because when water, you know, freezes, it expands. So we gotta make sure that there's enough room. So then put it in the freezer. When you put it in the freezer, again, visualize what it is that you want. Um, after you put it in the freezer, say your chant again three times, and then say, so mode it, be. it is my will, so mode it be. Or you can just say, so mode it be. And then once it's been frozen, you can go outside and dig a small hole to bury the piece of paper and pour the water over it. Or if you have a garden or if you live near the woods, some place that you can put it where at least the paper will be covered. Um, so you're going to go outside and you're going to dig or bury the piece of paper. You're going to slowly pour the water over it and say, I release you from the binding, but enjoying you not to harm me again. As my will, so mote it be. In the future, you may want to carry um, some type of amulet, a crystal, where protection oils have protection charm bags, anything that's protecting a pentacle, something on you for protection to ensure that you don't get any of the threefold. Um, again, you don't do that last part until your spell has come to fruition. It has happened, okay? So that's basically it. It's very simple. Again, you just need a piece of paper, a pen, any form of writing utensil, basically. Water, tip, I said it's a black bag, yeah. You know, it's just some basic tools, things you'll find around the house. You don't have to have a whole cabinet and, you know, apothecary in your house to be able to do this spell. Everything is there and needed. You just come up with a simple chant yourself. You do it three times, say, it, it is my will, or as it is my will, so mode it be, or you can just say, so mode it be. You freeze it, you wait until you see something happen related to the spell that the person has stopped for a certain period of time. And then you just go and bury the piece of paper, pour that water, melted water over it after you've let it melt in the bag, and it's also positive to maybe do a pentacle or some uh, symbol for protection over the dirt if you want. You can do it with sticks, you can carve it in, and you just release and make sure that you say a chance to 
to make sure you're continuously protected that even though the spell is completed it continues pretty basic so that's all i have for today if anybody wants me to write the details down um let me know otherwise like i said it's pretty basic and easy to do um so yeah um please check out my links like my shop um email me if you want tarot readings subscribe to the newsletter and just have a wonderful wonderful week i love you all and bless it be